Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one cubic equation with factorial notation. Equation is n cube equal to n plus n factorial. So if you observe factorial is there, so we should be aware of, we should know what is n factorial. So n factorial in the form of piecewise, if I will break, then I will write when n is negative 1 or less than that, when n is equal to 0 and when n is equal to or greater than 1. See, because factorial only integer values but non-negative. So, you can consider 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to infinity but point is integers are allowed non-negative. That means n is whole number. So, let me write n less than minus 1 function does not exist or you cannot define n equal to 0, 0 factorial is 1 and one, when n is greater than or equal to 1, we can write it recursive form n into n minus 1 factorial. How it is? Suppose you are writing 5 factorial, then you can write 5 into 4 factorial. So this is n, so it is n, it is n minus 1. That is why you can write n factorial as n into n minus 1 factorial. So let me write here n cube equal to n plus n into n minus 1 factorial. Okay. Let's divide both sides by n. If you will divide both sides by n, so it will become n square, n over n, 1, n times n minus 1 factorial over n, n minus 1 factorial. Now take away 1 from both sides. So n square minus 1, right side will be n minus 1 factorial. This one will be over. Now we know the difference of a square formula that is a square minus b square. Let me write a square minus b square can be written as a plus b, a minus b. Let's apply n square minus 1 square. Think like it is a square. So I will write n plus 1, n minus 1 equal to n minus 1 factorial. Okay. Now substitution. Let us consider n minus 1 equal to y. So if n minus 1 is equal to y, let me write here n minus 1 equal to y, that means n is equal to y plus 1. So n plus 1 will be equal to y plus 2. Add 1 to both sides from this equation, then n you will get n is equal to y plus 1. Then add again 1 to both sides from this equation. So n plus 1 equal to y plus 2. Why I am doing this? I want to calculate n plus 1 for this substitution. So I will write y plus 2. Our equation will be written as y plus 2 times y because n minus 1 is our substitution y is equal to y factorial. Okay. So again we can write y factorial as by recursive form y into y minus 1 factorial. Okay. So you can see there y, y, divide both sides by y. So y plus 2 is equal to y minus 1 factorial. See this is very important equation. y plus 2 is equal to y minus 1 factorial. y plus 2 is equal to y minus 1 factorial. Now subtract y both sides. Subtract take away y from both sides. So it will be 2 is equal to y minus 1 factorial minus y. Or let us write variable to the left side. So y minus 1 factorial minus y is equal to 2. Now we have to find out the value of y. How we will calculate? See, y minus 1 factorial is there. Factorial, this value cannot be negative. 
So obviously y minus 1 should be positive. So y should be greater than or equal to 1. It will start from 1 onwards. So let me put y equal to 1. Okay, so 1 minus 1, 0 factorial, minus 1, is this equal to 2? As we know, 0 factorial is, let me write here, 0 factorial is 1, 1 factorial is also 1. Okay, 0 factorial is 1, so 1 minus 1 equal to 2, is this true? No. Now let us take y is equal to 2. So if you put y equal to 2, it will be 2 minus 1 factorial. That means 1 factorial minus 2 is equal to 2. 1 factorial is 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. It is not equal to 2. So we cannot put that value 2. Let's put y equal to 3. Next value. So 3 minus 1, 2 factorial minus 3 equal to 2. Is this true? 2 factorial is 2 minus 3. So it is minus 1 which is not equal to 2. So you can, you will put, it is not accepted. Now come to y equal to 4. 4 minus 1 factorial, so 3 factorial, minus 4 is equal to 2. 3 factorial, let me write here 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So that means 6. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. That means y equal to 4 is the solution. Correct value of y. Okay. Now let us substitute back in the expression that we considered actually n minus 1 equal to y. So n minus 1 equal to y as our consideration, as our calculation, y is coming out 4. So n will be equal n minus 1 will be equal to 4, add 1 to both sides, n will be equal to 5. Now only one thing is left, let us check this value, check or verify. So I will put equation is n q equal to n plus n factorial. So let us put n equal to 5. So that will be 5 cube equal to 5 plus 5 factorial. Is this true? So 5 cube is 125. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. Equal to 5 plus. What is 5 factorial? Let us find out. 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 20, 60, 120. Let us put 125 is equal to 125. That means n is equal to 5 is our correct answer for this equation. Thank you so much for watching. If you forget to subscribe my channel, please do subscribe. Thank you.